Good afternoon, everyone. It's Tom Klein. Hope your week is going well. I am here in sunny Highland Beach, Florida. I want to tell you a story about this past week where one of my clients got two lawsuits uh, within a two week period and was very upset about it. And we had a conversation about various things that are important to do to prevent lawsuits, to prevent customer problems. First of all, everyone needs to be empowered to fix their problems. Or said a different way, they need to be forced to fix their own problems, but they should be incentivized to do so. So for example, you know, is the service manager, does he know that he has the authority to fix problems? Do the monies when he fix problems, do they come out of his gross? Or is there a special pot of money from the owner? Uh, sometimes certain service directors will not want to fix problems because it's coming out of their gross. So do you need a separate fund, if you will, for them to be responsible for that doesn't come out of their pay? That's a, what I call a structural problem. Um, and on the variable side, do you have someone designated within the store that they are the customer service manager? Uh, in other words, when you have an internet complaint, the person who, sent, who posts back and says, we're sorry you had a problem. Do they put on there, uh, please call us and we'll be happy to help you. That's the wrong thing to do. Someone from the dealership should be reaching out to that customer and trying to fix the problem. Do you have a designated person at your store to do that? One way to try to gather some information from a customer before these things happen is I have a website called alwaysdobetter.com. And essentially we put uh, uh, signs up all over the store that says to our customers and teammates, so this is both for customers as well as employees, because as you've heard me probably say before, most problems come on two legs. They're walking problems, so customers and employees. And it's a QR code. And so they're able to take their phone, shoot the QR code, uh, and then fill out a quick form and that form comes to me and I forward it to you. And if you have any questions about that uh, problem, then we discuss the best way to fix it. Uh, this week, uh, I also had another client call about a sexual harassment problem and lawsuits. And so I get these calls all the time. So preventing problems before they become big is how you make sure that, um, that they don't cost you a lot of money. And so for more information on this, go to alwaysdobetter.com slash how we help. And I want you to feel free to always call me. Uh, the meter won't run when you call me. Uh, I'll let you know if I'm gonna charge you. But if you have a question or a problem, I want you to reach out and ask the question. And if I don't have the answer, I have a, a strong network uh, of colleagues who probably do have the answer. So I want you to feel free to reach out and, and ask me the question because I I'm, I'm likely will have the answer. And as my gift to you today, I'm going to gift to you a free one hour workshop. So if you have a problem and you want to get on a Zoom call and talk about it, I'm happy to do that. And it's my gift to you. Uh, I hope it will help you solve some of the concerns you're thinking about, or if not, stimulate some ideas and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so it'll, it'll help you on your way to fixing the issues. As I've said, you might have heard me sit here say before, um, running a dealership is like trying to tuck an octopus into bed and the tentacles keep falling out. And as a risk mitigation consultant, that's my job, is to help you try to fix those problems. And I'd like to help and uh, feel free to reach out. My phone number is 757-434-7656. Feel free to text me or call me, or my email address is tomk at bettervantagepoint.com. tomk at bettervantagepoint.com. And I am sitting here in a better vantage point this afternoon. Hope you're having a good one, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.